Welcome back to Sea Life TV. I'm Daryl Chesser. On today's episode, no patches, please. Hi, and welcome once again to Sea Life TV. I'm Daryl Chesser, as I said earlier, and I appreciate you tuning in today. Today, I'm going to read again from one of my posts that I made online uh, a couple of years ago, probably one of those days, and just uh, read it again, and I thought this is a good one. So it's called No Patches, Please. And it's out of Luke chapter 5, verse, verse uh, 36 through 39. Let's begin. He, Jesus, told them this parable. No one tears a piece out of a new garment to patch an old one. Otherwise, they will have torn the new garment, and the patch from the new will not match the old. And no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins. The wine will run out, and the wineskins will be ruined. No new wine must be poured into new wineskins. And no one, after drinking old wine, wants the new, for they say, the old is better. I just wanted to take this time to go line by line through this passage and give my belief as to what is being said here by Jesus. The wine referred to in this passage is the Holy Spirit of God, the anointing of God, the power of God. The garments, I believe, are the covenants, old and new. First, first line, which says, no one tears a piece out of a new garment to patch an old one. Well, why would you rip up a new coat to fix an old coat? Or why take parts from your brand new Ferrari to patch up an old Cadillac? That just doesn't make sense. And back to the scripture, otherwise, they will have torn the new garment and the patch from the new will not match the old. It won't fit in with the old. If one were to rip up a new coat, which represents our covenant of righteousness, let's say by faith in Christ Jesus, to get a patch for an old one, the covenant of Moses, the new one is ruined and the patch doesn't match the old one. The new one is made useless. You have made the grace of God of no effect. And the old one still won't last. Moses' law cannot now or at any time make one righteous. In the second line up there, I believe that the wineskins may represent us, people who seek God. And it says, and no one pours new wine into old wineskins. In the Old Covenant, the Holy Spirit of God did not fill or live in the prophets or people of God. The Holy Spirit came upon them and visited them to help them do what God wanted. New wine, this vibrant infilling of the power of God, who comes to live and abide in the believer, would destroy the Old Covenant saint had it come on them back then. Remember at Mount Sinai when God told Moses to make sure that the people did not break through and touch God's presence when he was going to come down his presence with the clouds and the, and the thunder and just smoke uh, on the top of the mountain. He said, make sure they don't break through, not even an animal, to touch, the, to touch the mountain. Because if they did, they would be incinerated. They'd be killed. Not because God was punishing them, or, but God was, was, was actually protecting them with, without the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus, the Lamb of God who washed away our sin and made us righteous and worthy by faith in his name, sin would be sin would be burnt up by God's righteousness when we went into his presence instantly, and therefore us, we would be incinerated as well. So God did that to protect him, himself. He wrapped himself in dark clouds and kept his distance in those days to protect his people. Let's continue. Another line in the scripture. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins, the wine will run out, and the wine skins will be ruined. 
You see, Jesus is telling us that the Holy Spirit cannot live in or abide in anyone who has not been cleansed by the blood, the precious blood of Jesus. On the day of Pentecost in Acts, the Holy Spirit came down like fire to judge. But when he alighted upon these newly born again saints, this judgment by fire was satisfied that the human was now righteous and worthy because of Jesus' blood alone. And the Holy Spirit went into them to abide forever. Wow. Wow. Right now, in you and in me and in anyone who has put their faith in Christ Jesus, who has, who has trusted his substitutionary, that's quite a word, substitutionary work on the cross on our behalf for our lives, for our spirits, for our, for our family and friends, for the whole world. If your faith is in that, the Holy Spirit can come and live and abide forever and you not be incinerated. You see, Jesus, <clears throat> uh, well, first of all, let's remember the doorpost of the blood in, in, in uh, Israel when they were coming out of Egypt. The blood on the doorpost in the Passover account if the blood of the lamb was on that doorpost, the destroying angel, well, the destroying angel, the judgment passed over everyone in that house. You see, the judgment passed over. God's fire passed over because of the blood. Let's finish up here. The third line in the scriptures: No, new wine must be poured into new wineskins. Here you see the instance of Jesus or the insistence of Jesus that new wine, the Holy Spirit, can only be poured into new wineskins. Here's what Paul had to say in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation, the new skin has come. The new wineskin. The old is gone, the new is here. And in the fourth line of uh, our initial passage in uh, the scriptures. No one, after drinking old wine, wants the new, for they say the old is better. Well, that doesn't make sense, does it? Well, yeah, it, it actually perfectly does. Can't teach an old dog new tricks, right? This is not a defect of the law. This is the hardest part to understand that the old covenant, Moses' law, was perfect and is perfect. It was glorious. It still is. Moses' face reflected that glory, but then it faded. Yes, the glory of God fades with the old covenant. It does not stay. It does not retain. It is not the final glory. It is a fading glory, just like it was with Moses. This is not a, a defect of the law. It was the purpose of the law. The actual purpose. The law was to perfectly declare that the glory and righteousness of God was impossible to approach or achieve by any kind of human law or human effort. God's glory and his righteousness can only be attained in the person of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Christ, our Lord. The new wineskin, the one new man, the second Adam, the new garment of anointing and righteousness, that is who Christ is. Wow, wow, now Moses and Elijah were on the Mount of Transfiguration on that day when Jesus, uh, the glory of God came on him. And they witnessed that the new wineskin, the promised land, Jesus Christ, the chosen one, the son of God, God himself rang out with his voice that day and said to Moses, Elijah, and the apostles, uh, James and Peter and John that were there on the mountain as well. So he spoke to the prophets, the law, Moses, and the apostles, Peter, James, and John, covered the whole group and said, this is my beloved son, talking about Jesus, the anointed one. Hear him. Clear endorsement from God, our heavenly father, about his son, Jesus Christ, and who Elijah was, who Moses was, and the apostles were, they are to hear Jesus, not Jesus hear them. <clears throat> now, no patching 
the old and trying to mix the two covenants. There's nothing to be gained there. Everything in the old, everything in the old Testament points to Christ Jesus and this new wine. The new is completely supported and upheld by the old covenant. Now to close. If you've been tasting the old wine, the law and the prophets, filled with the riches of traditions and history and tastes and smells and sounds of, you know, the prayers and the chants and the, the, the songs. Well, it's difficult to drink the new wine. But like old, old all, but like all, all old wines, they are simply not made anymore. They're rare, they're precious, but they're, they're not making anymore. You can't make the new old, and you can't make the old new. So today, no patches, please. No patches on the gospel of Jesus Christ. No patches on your righteousness by faith in that finished work of Christ Jesus on the cross. No patches of trying to mix the old and the new as God said to the apostles, the prophets, and the law, Moses, Jesus Christ, this is my son, hear him. Jesus Christ is Lord, and he is our new wine and our new wine skin. He is our new cloak. We are clothed with the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And that new wine is now in us. No patches, please.